Jennifer Cabana and today I'll be teaching you how to dance cumbia, one of the most representative dances of the Caribbean region of Colombia. Cumbia is not only a dance, it's also a genre of music and a complete lifestyle. It's the result of the union of three different cultures, African with its drums, indigenous with its melodies with millo flutes and gaitas, and European with its gown. Today I'm wearing this dress, which is commonly used by the cumbiambas or cumbia groups that participate in the Carnival of Barranquilla. Traditional cumbia dresses have printed flowers. Without further ado, let's learn how to dance cumbia. Let's start with our basic step and the footwork of cumbia. First of all, we must slightly bend our knees. This will allow our hips to move smoothly. Watch what happens if we don't bend our knees. When we do bend them, our hips will move automatically, subtly, never exaggerated. Remember, cumbia is very elegant. We will always begin with our left leg. You're going to slide your foot straight across the floor and your right foot should follow immediately. Keep your feet flat on the ground. If you do this sliding movement correctly, it will seem as though you're floating when you're dancing cumbia. We advance by following the rhythm of the music, specifically to the beats of the llamador drum. We can mark our steps by clapping. This will help us keep the rhythm. As for our arms, for now, we can start by putting our hands in a fist shape right on our hips. Your arms should keep a 45 degree angle, like so. Shoulders relaxed. Don't forget to smile, keep your chin up, and remember that cumbia is elegant and flirtatious. Once you've mastered the basic step, you'll be ready to put on a cumbia skirt or pollera. I'll teach you the correct way to hold it. You're gonna grab it at the sides, right near the bottom. You wanna make a scissor shape with your index and middle fingers, like this. On one side, we sustain the pollera with our index finger and thumb, and on the other side, the rest of your fingers will help you secure it in place. You want to grab it firmly so that it doesn't fall out of your hands while dancing. Let's do the same thing on the other side with our other hand. Remember, make a scissor, index finger and thumb on one side, and the rest of your fingers on the other. Alright, now we're ready to lift our skirts. Let's remember our arms are positioned in a 45 degree angle on our hips, 
shoulders relaxed with a flirtatious yet elegant smile. Begin by slowly lowering your arms and then bring them up in a round shape. Imagine you're holding a large ball. Bring those arms up slowly, following the rhythm of the cumbia. Begin to separate them and open your skirt. It's kind of like opening a pair of wings. Your arms should have a U form, not a V. Let's give our pollera some movement with what we call faldeo. We can do this a couple of ways. One of them is by placing one hand on your hips while the other brings the skirt across. We change movement on the beat of the tambora. I'll show you slowly. While I bring one arm down, I start to lift the other in a flowing movement. I cross my arm in front of me at the height of my face without covering it and without bringing it close to my body. We can also do the same movement a little lower at the height of our chest. This is one of my favorite steps. It's simple yet very elegant. We're going to bring one hand holding our pollera at the height of our face, and the other hand will be positioned behind our head. The palm of that hand should be facing the sky. Once again, the movements are subtle and they change with the beat of the tambora. We dance softly, flirtatiously, and with a lot of confidence. We do our full body spin by turning on our left side the following way. Just like all movements, we must do the spin following the rhythm of the cumbia we're dancing. Sometimes, if we get very excited, we can do a double spin. Speaking of excitement, along with our basic steps, we must feel cumbia. Every step, every drum beat, every melody played through a mio flute. As we dance, there are moments of collective euphoria as well as individual and we let out guidos, or callings of happiness. Epa! Facial expression is also very important. A smile for our dance partner or our public, the gaze and connection with our partner, and of course, permanent flirtation throughout the dance. I hope you enjoyed this cumbia tutorial. Make sure to practice your steps and come dance with us in the Carnival of Barranquilla.